It's Madden NFL 24. And coming up, it'll be no holds barred between AFC South rivals. It's the Houston Texans and the Indianapolis Colts. And it's coming up next. We are pleased, as always, to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. But tonight, we've got a good AFC matchup on tap, as it'll be the Houston Texans taking on the Indianapolis Colts. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Here's Tank Dell to return it from his end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. Out comes Deshaun Watson, ready to captain the ship here for this Houston offense. And he makes it so difficult for all defenses because when he's got the ball, it's hard to say when a play is truly over because he can create from any spot on the field and in any situation, even when it appears that he's contained. When he's running your offense, a big play could arrive from any possible spot. Flag play. And he's going to have the connection to Foster. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. So, of course, they declined that there. They knew they had the free play. They got great yardage out of it. It's kind of like when we were at dinner last night. You saw me reach for the checks. And you ordered dessert on top of it, right? <laughs> you see they had the free play. Yeah. Right? Gone Already have what you needed. Go ahead and get a little more on top. I like it. First play from scrimmage, Watson going to throw it. And Cooks has it over the middle. They'll wind up getting just a yard, and it's second down. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Ball on the 40 now. Here's a second down and nine. Now it's Watson. Open man here is Foster. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. Texans passing game in rhythm right now, picking up another first. And as you're game planning as a staff, you go through all the different ways you can neutralize the other guys' pass rushers. Extra linemen, leave a tight end in, bring the running backs back in to block. Or you can do this, a little simple screen pass, and it works to perfection. A first down carry for Foster. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. Now a play fake, and it's Watson. And Daniels has it, left side. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Well, they clearly wanted to come out, Charles, and be aggressive throwing the football, and they've been pretty efficient along with that aggressiveness. He's now 4-4 on this opening drive. Yeah, and that's led to a fresh set of downs. I like what he's doing back there. You can tell he's at ease. Feels good about what he's doing, 
I think if I'm the play caller, I'm reading that, I'm continuing to let him throw the football. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. And now a stoppage, and looks like we have a Colt who was shaken up last play. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. Here's Watson, option left. And he's in. Touchdown, Houston. Deshaun Watson scoring on the keeper from six yards out. And the Texans will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. Solid finish to the opening drive. And look, when you get down around the goal line, you have to account for his legs. We saw it right there. Yeah, that's the added dimension to the offense, isn't it? Remember what the offensive line coach told us earlier this week? I told my guys, he's going to run it, he's protected, and give him an opportunity. Point after, right down the middle. And it's now a 7-0 game. So this drive spans seven plays. And the final act belonged to Deshaun Watson in his touchdown run. Brown now to kick it away after the touchdown. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. So the Colts now coming out for their opening drive. At a glance at the man under center at 6'5", he always demands attention. For every rookie prospect, there are always nerves involved in this moment. Running your team out to start a game. But there's a reason they brought him in. We're willing to make him their starter today. They believe he can overcome those nerves and lead his team to a victory. We saw him do it at the collegiate, make himself into a leader and someone you can envision doing the exact same thing here in the NFL. He finds his man complete. That's Harrison. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. A huge play there on the screen pass. 47 yards. Usually in this spot, you hear an offensive coordinator saying, don't feel like you've got to get this all back at once. But here, they give up the opening touchdown and say, no time like the present to show what we can do too. And that's big yardage on their initial play from scrimmage. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Manning now to throw. Oh, that's in the double coverage and intercepted. And the Texans are going to have it here as they'll start at their own 24-yard line. We know that the rookie's going to go to a top target like that often. That time, though, maybe a little telegraphed. And that's not unusual because you do tend to lock in on one of your better players and when under duress, when in depth. You're going to throw the ball in his direction because oftentimes you could be wrong, but that receiver will make you right but it won't happen every time. Good defenders know this, and they get attracted to the football. After the interception, here's Watson. Got an open man, it's Foster. And he maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage, that's it. So he'll be stopped here for no gain. And that'll bring up second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarter of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Out of the gun, Watson. Got a man over the middle, it's Williams. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Here's third and nine. They'll fake the handoff. Now Watson. Pass taken in by his 
big tight end. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. So the P.I. decline, and that'll give him a fresh set of downs. And when you scout tight ends, one thing you want to know, just how strong they are. And we saw it in evidence there. He was able to fight through all the contact and still secure the football. Watson, off play action. He sets to fire deep. That's caught inside the 20. A huge play there for Houston. 45 yards. How about this first quarter for them throwing the football? This defense has zero answers for what they've seen so far with the ball in the air. I'm not sure how they're going to change things around, but offensively, I keep attacking. I keep throwing the football until they make me change. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. From the red zone now, Watson throwing the out route incomplete. That's Hopkins. Touchdown, Texas. Deshaun Watson finding DeAndre Hopkins. And the Texans lead this now 13-0 here in the opening quarter of the ball game. They've got to be thrilled on the road right now. Touchdown, turnover, touchdown, and quickly trying to make it 14 to nothing. Yeah, and mentioned it already. On the road, to be able to go into someone else's house and establish a start like that, obviously your confidence rises in a big way, and you're putting some doubt in their minds. Extra point right down the middle, and it's now 14 to nothing. Brown now to kick it away after the touchdown. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. Second drive coming up here for the Indianapolis Colts. Charles, it's kind of gut check time. Look, I know it's early first quarter, just their second drive of the game, but they've already thrown the interception, given up the score. You're down double digits. They got to figure out something and pretty quickly here. No doubt about it. And when we look at that sideline, I'm sure you're observing the same thing I am. I don't like the body language at all. They look like they're in a state of stunned disbelief. So to me, we always talk about someone stepping up and making a big play. I think it would behoove them if multiple guys step up and make big plays right now. They need something positive to happen, and they need for it to happen now. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much-needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. On first and 10, here's Manning. Complete to Hilton. Extra bulk up front for second and inches. Three tight ends. They'll send a receiver in motion to the right. Now they show Jet sweep it instead. A run up the middle here. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Well, you're down early. How do you get back in the game? Maybe establish the run. I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one. And what I like about the message, is Coach, he's already told his offensive coordinator, let's run the football. Let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game. Now a throw downfield is taken in by his running back. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. That's good for 28 yards. Well, this is a defense that's definitely on their heels now because they gave up the running play for good yardage one play ago. Now the pass here sets this offense up first and goal. They're going to have to dig in strong now because they've been in retreat so far in this drive. This offense on the march. 
First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Manning going to throw. He'll find Clark open right side. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like practice. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Now a play fake. Manning, under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. A big win there defensively on second and goal. A loss of seven, and it brings up third. When you're this close to the goal line, you've got to expect pressure from the defense, so the ball's got to come out fast. Got to get out of his hands quicker. Manning now on third and goal. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Blanketed coverage by Houston. Makes it fourth down. Quarterbacking 101. Never force the ball into double coverage. Especially not this close to the goal line. The windows are so tight. You just don't want to force it in there because it could be tipped up and picked off. And his kick is good. And they will get themselves on the board here at 14-3. So no problems at all on that one. And, and you know, virtually no win. This is a kicker's dream here tonight. It absolutely is, isn't it? So to me, with no win, it should be a passer's dream as well, yeah. right? But in this case, the defense held out. They had to force the field goal. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Houston set to take over. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Watson will bring up the Texans here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And incomplete, he dropped it. Maybe a rookie mistake there, second down. That was a nice job defensively of disguising their coverage and making it difficult for the quarterback to lock in on a receiver. And it results in an incomplete pass. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Throwing again is Watson. He finds Hopkins complete. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Here is third and five. Back to throw, Watson. And that is incomplete. Finally, this defense makes a stand. They'd given up touchdowns on their first two drives, but here they said, we've got to put a stop to that. Good coverage there to force a punting situation and a fourth down. Now on fourth down, it's Cameron Johnston on to punt it away. Take it in at the 22. A punt of 46, a return of five. And the Colts will go on offense here, first and 10. Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. Here's a second and nine now from the 29. Throwing now is Manning. And his throw's gonna be incomplete. 
Well, it doesn't take any great analysis. No jokes, partner, okay? All right, on this one. But we just know that we're going to see this as the game moves forward. There's going to be two guys on him on just about every snap. It's kind of a dare to throw his way, but they have to keep throwing his way. The benefits could be great. You throw it to a great receiver, he could come down with it anyway. Throwing is Manning on third down. And he's caught. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. That goes for a gain of 31. Seems like all the fireworks in this first quarter have been on the other sideline, but here they're saying, hey, we've got some explosive guys on our side too. And that's a big play in a game that's looking like it might be full of big plays. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. To throw is Manning. Wide open receiver complete. And he's taken down inside the 30. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender. And that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. They run it with James. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle. And that's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. So from the 26-yard line, here's second down and seven. Manning. Throwing left side. He's got Clark complete. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end. A guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight. Doesn't really matter because he has such great skills, you want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 16. It's a gain of four there that gives him a new set of downs. Third and one, partner. No need to be fancy there. Just use some force and move forward and pick up the first down. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Throwing is Manning. And this one nearly picked off. Well, kind of surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away, but get away it does, and it's second down. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. Manning to throw on second down. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test him early. But it proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. Now Manning. Throw so out wide is incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. Another good drive, Charles, but it looks like another that might end in a field goal try. They've made some nice plays. They've given themselves opportunities, but as you noted, another field goal attempt coming up, and that's not how they want to end drives. They've got to figure out what's the final touch that they need to push it across the goal. And still yet to find the end zone. A good start for him in this one here in the first quarter, and he's now two for two on field goals. And I know why the offensive coaches are telling their guys, hey, let's leave the kicker out of it unless it's an extra point. This could pay dividends if this game is tight down the stretch. His confidence is going to be sky high if they need him for a big-time kick. The Colts kicking team is out there now, and they will send this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The 
The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. They certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. Now a second and 10. Watson now to throw. The hook up on the right side to Hopkins. And they're able to get this one across the 35. After one, 14-6 our score on EA Sports. Texans football to start quarter two. So from the 36 now, first and 10, as they've got it as we resume action. On first down, it's Watson. A quick throw there is incomplete. He was looking for Daniels that time, but it'll be second down. A give, Foster running right. And some room to maneuver. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Here's Watson. He's letting it fly for Cooks. And this will be caught at the 30. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he gets all the way down inside the 20-yard line. A huge play there for Houston. 48 yards. What a first half this has been offensively. I mean, defensively, what do you do when you're getting torched like this? Now, these receivers are absolutely wearing them out. So two thoughts come to mind. One, get some oxygen. You can fill up your lungs a little <laughs> bit. And number two, Talk to your guys up front. You need a pass rush to help slow them down. They run up the middle with Foster. And they'll work this down to the 15 for a pickup of four. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Second down and six now. Here's Watson. Hopkins on the grab over the middle. And the Texans are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. They'll send one of those two tight ends in motion. First and goal, Foster. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. On second down, here's Watson. This is caught. And they get him down at the one. He had the broken tackle, but ultimately could not get into the end zone. Five yards that time on the completion. And now it's third and goal. They'll try and punch it in with Foster. And he gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Houston. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Texans have taken a two-touchdown lead now. And you can bet when they were in that huddle, there's definitely some urgency because I'm sure they were saying to each other, we got to push this one in right now so we don't have to run this on fourth down and there'll be extra bodies in the hole. 
That's excellent work there at the point of attack. All it takes is one little crease as he fights his way into the end zone. The extra point splits the uprights, and the lead is up to 15 now. Brown now to kick it away after the touchdown. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. They've probably got some adjustments to make because they've moved the football okay at times, but they haven't been able to get anything consistently going, have they? What you worry about is it almost turns into a basketball game where one team's coming down and hitting threes, and you're coming back and getting twos, and you steadily lose ground. In this situation, you're talking about touchdowns to field goals. They want to put in the end zone and put those sixes on the board. Yeah, they've been settling. That's why they're down on the scoreboard right now. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. Quick throw here to Hilton. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. The Colts on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and nine. Play action. Manning. And this is going to be dropped. Oh, my gracious. There was no one in his area code, but he could not hang on to it. And that is not what you expect from a receiver of his caliber. Sometimes ahead of yourself, you don't look it in, and all of a sudden it's on the ground. A surprise to all. On fourth down, the Colts will call on Rigoberto Sanchez for the punt. Back deep is Tank Dell. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Texans will take over. The Houston's offense taking over again. Watson will bring up the Texans here, first and 10 at their own 27. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. Right up to that point, I was about to say he's had a pretty good half catch in the football, but let's just be honest about it. He should have caught that one. And he knows that. That was one right in his bread basket and one he normally catches. Second and ten. Watson. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. It'll go as a loss of three on the sack, and it brings up third down. And, of course, that's not an easy man to sack. You know how elusive he can be trying to get outside of the pocket. That was a great play on the defensive side. Now, I wonder what was going through his mind because he didn't seem as committed to using his legs to pick up yardage. He wanted to keep that play alive to either take off and go or throw it away. But he held on to the football and ended up getting sacked. 15 yards, the Texans pick up the first down. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw, and they hooked up there for a first down. In motion left is Hopkins. Going up the middle, Foster. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. 
The defense thought they had that play covered, but it still got driven backward by those blockers. Those types of plays are a key part of any team's offensive game plan. It all starts up front in the trenches. From the 44-yard line, here's second and six. From the gun, here's Watson. This one swung out to Williams. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do, and that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play. One-on-one -on -one matchup of someone trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those, too. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they'll have a second and one forthcoming. What I love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional receiver is really starting to leave the game. You've got to be able to do it all. Of course, you've got to run fast. Of course, you've got to catch the ball. But route running savvy and toughness, there's a premium for all of that now. Again, it's Johnson. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Movement here by one of the Texans up front. In comes the flag. That's on Shaq Mason, the guard. The false start backs him up five, first and 15. They'll run up the middle here with Blue. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. Well, obviously, they would have at least liked to have gotten back to the original line of scrimmage. Instead, now, they're dealing with second and long. I thought they would have passed it after the penalty. Probably wish they would have now. Second and 12. Now Watson. And that one going to be off target and incomplete. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. Throwing on third down, Watson. right there had his man open for a first down threw a fastball when that wasn't necessary incomplete pass one of these quarterbacks going to learn you don't get extra points for how hard you throw the football and this will split the uprights it's right down the middle and that will extend their lead even further so no touchdown that time, but they do get three more, and now they have even more of a cushion. It's been a terrific first half offensively, so it's hard to blame them for not getting into the end zone there. But the way they've been moving the ball in this one, I don't think these will be their final points of the game. Now Brown, after the made field goal, gets set for the kickoff. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. The last series for them, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and ten. They fake the handoff. Now Manning. A throw left side complete to Clark. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. Let's go, man. Let's go, man. It's game time. 
Here's a second and two now from the 33. On the ground, it's James. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. Right back to him on first down. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. On second down, here's Manning. Looking deep for Hilton. And it's knocked away and incomplete. But whatever they called on defense, they made sure they were ready for the pass on that snap, made the proper adjustments, and helped force an incompletion. The offense on third down tonight, two for five to this point. This is third and eight. Here's Manning to throw. And that's going to be too high, out of bounds and incomplete. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with the short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. As Sanchez on to punt here as he sends this one away. That hurts. If it was running into the kicker, wouldn't be a first down. Roughing, it is a first. And just think about the differences between the two. Running into the kicker almost feels inadvertent, just a small tap, so to speak. But when you rough him, usually bodies are hitting the ground and flying all different places. And the difference is five yards or 15. And in this case, that's a big play. A lack of discipline defensively on fourth down, and now that leads to a first and ten. Here's James, and he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Second and six. James. And a very determined run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 27. Good effort. 40 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Manning now on first down toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again, or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Here's second and 10. Now Manning. Oh, he'll want that one back, incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Throwing is Manning on third down. And he is caught. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the five at the six. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And this is an offense in need of getting a few good things to happen. Here's one right here. They've had their share of struggles in key moments, but that's a nice throw and nice work after the throw, and they're set up now with a first and goal. Again, it's Manning. Touchdown, Colts! 
from six yards away. And the Colts are able to cut into that deficit. Now the extra point try forthcoming. And it is good. That cuts the lead now to 11, 24, 13 hour score. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee and they'll start at the 25. Watson on first down. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. Well, no one likes to see that drop, but I'll guarantee it's not going to stop his quarterback from going back to him anytime he has open space. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Throwing again is Watson. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and give the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. On third down, Foster. And he's got Rome. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 41 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. Just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us. That shouldn't be an issue. And then the next breath they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay. I think we just saw an example of that there, didn't we? Important to do, especially early in the game like they have. On first down, Watson. And he'll be brought down by the Colts. A loss of four that time on the sack, and it brings up second. Hindsight is 20-20, partner. Maybe they should have kept it on the ground again. Well, it almost looked like the O-line was run blocking again. I mean, they opened up a big hole last time. This time they opened up a hole, and the quarterback got sacked. Back to throw, Watson. Here's Johnson with a reception. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. It's caught right side by Daniels. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Second and 11 now. Watson now to throw. He gets this one to Johnson. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. They're 
try to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. Now it's Watson. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they get five there on third and two. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the left hash, it's a 36-yard attempt. And his kick here is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So a capper there to a pretty good first half. And I love the way that they put a chokehold on the clock, drained everything before they put the field goal on the board as they headed into the half. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. So we have reached halftime here. It's the visitors, the Texans out in front. As we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Colts getting the football first, and they trail here as we are back underway in quarter number three. And he will not bring it out. It's a touchback. Out come the Colts. They'll have it first here to start quarter number three. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, most of their focus was in the passing game, and to their credit, resulted in a healthy amount of yardage. So I would think that at halftime, they're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to try and cover the passing lanes. They've got to get the running game going. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. Now that one is going to sting. First play of the third quarter and a turnover. And you have to know that at halftime, they spent a lot of time going through their checklist of what they wanted to accomplish to start this third quarter. Turning it over like this was not on that list. Not at all. You, and you come out of the locker room trailing, so that first drive to establish momentum is very key. Crucial. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. After the interception, here's Watson. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. Well, these are the situations that really tested defense, those sudden changes. They're already inside field goal range to start the possession. Their goal now, keep it to a long kick if indeed they end up trying one. 
From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. Here's Watson. And his throw is incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. To throw is Watson. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, whatever was said in the locker room during the break must have worked. They forced the turnover. They didn't get the touchdown, Charles, but it does translate into three points to begin this second half. Exactly as they discussed in the locker room at halftime. Get some points to get things kick-started. Now start your half off with some momentum. Gives you something to build on for your next possession. Now Brown, after the made field goal, gets set for the kickoff. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand They've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Now a fake on the jet sweep, and they'll instead run up the middle. And this is going to be a Colts first down as he's got this past the 35 to about the 37. That runs successful in large part because they had a lot of extra help blocking up front. Yeah, you've got guys who can do that very, very well. In addition, they can catch the football. So sometimes when they line up with three tight ends, it's not necessarily to run it, and that gives you an advantage when you do decide to barrel off the line of scrimmage and block people downfield. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. Good yardage there on first down, exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs, keep the clock running, and if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's second and a couple. To throw, it's Manning. And that's going to be incomplete. An attempt at a deep ball there. They didn't get it. But, boy, they're going to need a few of those to actually hit in order to get back into this game. Good thing they do have a little bit of time here still left in the contest. Decent-sized deficit, but not one that they can't manage. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Up the middle they go. It's James. Well, they nearly sprung him that time as he takes this all the way down to the 37. 78 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. Offensive line right now really freeing up the rushing lanes on this drive. And we have to give them props. They've earned them. But these big runs that we're seeing, they don't result without everyone else being involved as well. Blocking on the perimeter has to take place downfield too. Manning now on first down. He's got it complete to Clark. So the completion good for six yards, and it's second down. There's a completion to the tight end, and I think that we're looking at something out of central casting, frankly. Absolutely. I mean, size, the hands. Speed. I mean, can flat out run. You put that whole package together, you light up the eyes of an offensive coordinator, don't you? Manning to throw on second down. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the Texans scoop it. And they will take over possession of the football at their 42-yard line. 
Well, if these guys wanted to get back in this game, they needed an almost perfect second half and down three scores. A lost fumble here certainly doesn't fit into that plan. That reminds me of my plan in college to get an A on the papers I turned in, but that didn't work out too well either. <laughs> too many mistakes by both of us. Simple. And that's why that's exactly where they are in this ball game. They're going to need a huge turnaround if they want to try and win this one. Watson will bring up the Texans here, first and 10 at their own 42. And incomplete, he dropped it. Maybe a rookie mistake there, second down. The one thing we know about RPO throws, they don't take long to develop. He had him wide open to the outside, hit him with it, but I think his eyes were looking downfield trying to see that open grass, ends up dropping it. That's a missed opportunity. Foster on second down. And very little daylight there. He'll get a couple up to the 44. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. And they'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. A shotgun snap for Watson. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Deshaun Watson, so multidimensional, able to scramble for the first. Well, he and his offense were staring down what was likely a three and out. Zero fear from his side, though. Never doubt for a second they pick up the first. He's ready to pull the trigger on a keeper the moment it revealed itself. On first and 10, Watson. He gets this out to Foster on the right side. And that's good for a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Let's go, fellas. One more, one more. <laughs> Here's Watson. It's caught left side by Cooks. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. On first down, it's Watson. Flush to his right. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. Fast, slow, it doesn't matter. If you give a quarterback enough room to escape, he can hit you for a big gain. You've got to give him a little more focus moving forward. On first down, it's blue. He pushes forward for maybe three down to the six-yard line. And now defensively, you have to look at this like the game's on the line. It's just the third quarter, but another touchdown given up here could really spell an end to their chances. So they need to toughen up and keep them out of the end zone. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. They'll try the right side with Foster. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Give him right around four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. A chance to really put this game out of reach. Here's third and goal. Watson going to try and run it. That is not going to be any help as they dump him behind the line of scrimmage. And a loss of three to bring up four. Well, he's had success running the football in this one. Yeah, that's undeniable. But that time, the defense was on to it. And, partner, I think the more you see a play like this, the more they're able to diagnose it quicker and easier for them to defend it. I think you have to dress it up a little bit and show maybe some different formations and looks. And his kick is right there. It's good, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, after that last sequence, they're sitting pretty comfortably. They forced the fumble get the field goal and expand on that lead here in the second half. 
And don't expect them to rest on their laurels after that kick either. They'll keep their effort up until the final whistle. They don't consider any lead safe. Now Brown, after the made field goal, gets set for the kickoff. And from back there, a wise move. He'll just sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading onto the field again. We've seen him be good so far. He's hoping to continue that trend here in quarter number three. And typically when you see guys running it this well, they see the game in slow motion, don't they? They see the cuts happen, they see the blocks happen, they feel really good about their vision, and then they use their legs to find that open space. And he's had some good help up front to boot. Throwing on first down is Manning. That is incomplete. Just what they need, a lecture from me, but subpar offense is what helped get them into this spot. And now they're continuing the trend with incompletions. That won't get them out of it if they don't change something soon. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Now a handoff up the middle. James. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Not the start to the drive they were looking for. That run doesn't do much at all. No, not at all. And it leaves them with third and long. And you know, this is the time of game where these drives really, really start to matter. They've got to make some moves. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Throwing now is Manning. He's going to float this one deep right side. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. The scoreboard tells the story for him a little bit bleak, and while it's not quite desperation time yet, it's definitely getting close, but the defense reads the scoreboard as well. They're going to back up and make them really earn it. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez as he'll punt it away for the second time. This is fielded at the 27. They'll call it a punt of 44 yards. The return was for seven. And the Texans will take over with a first and 10. And the football going back over now to the Houston Texans. They built up that lead at intermission. And they're just continuing to pour it on right now, aren't they? Locked into a really good groove right now. I don't know if it's just the play calling. I know the execution is really, really sharp right now. And all the playmakers are doing exactly what you expect. They're making plays. And right now, defense has no answer and no chance of catching up. Yeah, they're just looking to turn anywhere for a stop defensively. An ideal beginning of the drive there is they'll get 20 and a first down. This is just more of the same. This defense has had no answer on a lot of these throws. They've let these receivers run wild. And here's another completion for good yardage. So first and 10. And if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Out of the gun, they hand to Foster. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Watson, off play action. Crossing route catch made by Johnson. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts' 20-yard line. A gain there of 21 yards. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want ball. And Foster loses the football. It's out. Could have been a costly mistake, but as it turns out, they keep possession. You can't give away these types of opportunities in the red zone. Now, I'm sure that was flashing through his brain as the ball escaped his hands. Fortunately for him, able to get picked up by his team, fumble recovered, they still have an opportunity deep in the red zone. And they'll get him down right about the 20. Better ball security, but not much else to show for it. We know that old expression, it's not my night. 
It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. A lot of deflated looks on that defense. It seems like they just could not find a way to get a key stop on third down. Here's another conversion, and now this offense, they're in a position to go up even further as they've got it first and goal. A give. This is Foster. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. It's larger been the air attack that's gotten them down here, but now is where you start to lean on that running game. That's a good pickup there on first and goal. Second and goal from the one. They'll try again down here with Foster, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Did your high school have that same push them back, push them back cheer? I was a kicker. Well, it's, it would certainly worked. Didn't matter whether we were kickers or not, that one worked, didn't it? They pushed him back at his last snap of the ball, and boy, they created a nice play for themselves. Would they lose three on that one? Yeah, from the one. Open man is Cooks. He's got it. Touchdown, Texans. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Texans are able to stretch out their lead. So another touchdown there. And even though we're still just here in the third quarter, kind of hard now to see them giving up this lead. And this is just an offense that's imposing its will right now. You name it, they're able to do it. If you're the play caller, whatever you want to select is there. You want to run it, you want to throw it. Pick a play, any play. They're rocking and rolling right now. Point after, right down the middle. And that stretches the lead all the way up to 27. Brown now to kick it away after the touchdown. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. Indy set to go on offense once more. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, it's, let's just say it's been unusual. It'll be a gain of five. And that'll make it second down. Let's go. Let's... Now a give inside for Falk. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher, third and six. It always helps when you get great run support from your safeties, and when you get one who can actually read the play and get upfield and shut it down before it gets going, that's exactly what you're looking for. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Colts on third down, not quite 50%, four for nine. This will be third and six. He's going to air one out. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break. 
and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Uh, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there, it's going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. Now this one over the middle into the hands of his tight end complete. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that's going to bring up second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. From the gun, it's Manning. It's complete. He finds Falk here. Only able to gain a couple there. And now two yards to go on third down. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. From midfield, here's Manning. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 31-yard line. Another good reception there. The Colts on the march. And with this game well in hand, perhaps we are seeing the coverage lighten up a little bit as they got burned there a bit for a first down. Well, we certainly know the coach isn't happy along the sideline because he certainly wants them to finish this one out the way they started it. He doesn't want to give up any soft completions, no late points. He wants his lead to stay right where it is. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Sometimes I think these defensive tackles get a little bit of a bum rap. We just see them as big guys that eat up blockers for others to make tackles. Oftentimes they're quicker than they get credit for. And this time he uses quickness to make a play. Manning. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Shotgun now for Manning. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Now Manning, got to have this one. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. The Colts unable to convert here on fourth down. And this 11-play drive is going to lead to nothing on the scoreboard. Well, their first fourth down attempt earlier was successful. This one backfires for a turnover on downs. I like their aggressiveness. I like what they're doing. They got it the first time they went for it. Why not a second time? I don't think they'll be daunted from attempting it again. If you're on the defensive side of the ball, though, any fourth down stop is a big momentum play. Watson will bring up the Texans here, first and 10 at the 34. They'll start on the ground with Foster, and he'll take this ahead for about four, second down coming up. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. From the 37, they work on second and six. They'll go again with Foster. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Guards on the ground for him now as he's done that on 15 carries. At carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. So they'll go ahead and accept the penalty. 
The full start backs him up five, first and 15. A give left side, Foster. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. You know what the converse is, though? You've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks, and when you don't, that's the result you end up with. And he'll be tackled at the 45 following a gain of just two. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. They'll run with a backup. This is Williams. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. Call it a gain of four, and it'll bring up fourth down. What a luxury to have a guy like this who can not only spell your starter, but can come in and keep drives going. Here's Cameron Johnston now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. The Colts set to take over here offensively. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because... They're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. From the 22, here's second and eight. Throwing his Manning. And he's got it. Got his man on the end round. Complete. A big change in field position there. That's 40 yards on the catch and run. At this stage, there's nothing left to do but to keep firing. And if you're a play caller, you may go off your sheet and use some things maybe you hadn't planned to in this game. Maybe that was one of them there that worked. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Working from the gun, Manning. The open man is Clark, complete. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught and you don't give up much run after the catch. The ball on the 30 now, here's second and two. And again, he finds Clark. 75 yards receiving for him now. It's a first down. A few moving pieces on that play because that was an RPO, was it not? It was, but one important piece that didn't move incorrectly, the offensive line. Because when you're running this play, as he continued down the line of scrimmage, sometimes the lineman can wander downfield. And if you're more than a yard downfield, it's illegal to throw the football at that point. But they held their ground, held their spot, and turned it into a nice game. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. That incompletion brings us one step closer to the end of this one. Maybe mercifully, partner. And let's face it, though, no surprise, they're still flinging it around. They have pride, too. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Now a play fake. Manning. Touchdown! 24-yard touchdown. And the Colts get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth-quarter deficit. Obviously, the scoreboard right now is not the friend of this rookie quarterback, but, hey, a touchdown pass there maybe builds a little confidence. Every rep is valuable when you're a rookie. Every time you step up and throw the football, there's a lesson to be learned. Yeah, he took advantage of a little bit of loose coverage there with the lead. 
And at the same time, got it done. He'll take a little bit of satisfaction away from that throw. The Colts kicking team is out there now, and they will send this one away. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. The Texans back out there and ready to go. Well, the win for them at this point seems pretty assured. I mean, still a decent amount of time left here in the fourth quarter, Charles, but you got the football. You're up three scores. They have to be feeling really good about where they're at. I love your observation skills, partner, because I think you saw them charge onto the field fired up about another chance to get into the end zone. Looks to me like this group is ready to crush any hope left on the opposing sideline, and they want to do it with some gusto, too. A first down carry for Foster. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Uh, during that run, an injury here. We got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. Well, the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. On first, they stick with Foster. And he puts his head down and gets up to the 42 for a gain of about six. Good gain there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking, nice hole for him. He ends up picking up nice yardage, stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Looks like he's going to get a couple here on this first down carry, and that'll make it second and eight. They suspected that it was a power play up the middle coming at them, and boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. From the 48-yard line, here's the second and eight. They keep it in the hands of Foster. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. A big hitter there, a first down gain of 26 yards. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. They run up the middle with Foster. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. Well, praise has to go to the guys on the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so? Because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs, able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. Now the Texans are going to call on the field goal unit. From the left hash, this will be a 41-yarder. And his kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, 
you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so that you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. Now Brown, after the made field goal, gets set for the kickoff. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. That's throw right White side is complete here on the first play of the drive. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but... Certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But they trim that lead down to just two scores. That's still a benefit to this squad. And they're at the point of the ball game now where they've got to take some chances. They've got to put the ball in the air and just see what happens. But this defense knows that all too well. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Now Manning. And his throw is going to be incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Again, it's Manning. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense, they're just going to sit back field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. They'll go for it. It's Manning. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. The Colts unable to convert here on fourth down. And the Texans take over an excellent field position. So that's the second time this game they've given it up on fourth down. They're now one for three on fourth down conversion tries. But they must feel good about what they're doing, right? They continue to go for it on fourth down. Give the defense a lot of credit, though. They've stopped them two out of three times. Usually you have fourth down plays that you have dialed up and ready to go and you think are going to be successful. Not so far in this game. Going up the middle, Foster. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Not a big run on the first play of the drive, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad play. Sometimes you're just trying to settle in, get your guys a little bit of contact, and get things moving. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Texans football as we welcome you back. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. A shotgun handoff now, Foster. They follow up the first down one yard run with a minimal gain of two. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. They'll need to get it to the 30 for a first. This is third down. A give. Foster running right. And he's not going to get the first down. He had to get to the 30, but he's a yard or two short. Yeah, he's just short. He got six of the seven he needed, so that leaves a decision here on fourth and a yard. This team doesn't mind running the ball in any situation, and I thought he was going to get the first down the way the play developed, but the defense closed in and stopped him just about a yard short. Oh, 
And this one is right down Broadway. And that will extend their lead even further. So they get the three. It was fourth and one. And I think you were doing what I was doing. I was looking down at the sideline. I'm not sure the offensive unit wanted the three. They wanted to go for it. But what have we ever seen a unit that didn't want to go for it in that situation, That's true. right? Sometimes it's just way more important to have the points on the board than to worry about any type of a gamble. Now Brown, after the made field goal, gets set for the kickoff. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. They're down big here late. I don't know, You just one last drive here for pride? Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge and someone said, coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's <laughs> get out of here and do something <laughs> some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as they continue as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. Now a nice play defensively on first down as this is knocked away and incomplete. He started out having some troubles back in the first half connecting with his receivers. Really hasn't gotten a whole lot better. Yeah, he's at less than 50%, and you and I both know that just won't do. So I would think about spreading things out, putting it on the receivers, make them win those one-on-one -on -one battles on the perimeter and find their way open. Back to the air on second down. It's Manning. Over the middle, he'll get it to Harrison. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 16 yards to pick up there. The Colts have a first down. Well, this game is certainly pretty well over. They can go ahead and mark it in the win column. But as a defense, they don't want to get so soft now that everybody just throws the ball all over the place against them, gets big yardage, and puts points on the board. They have pride, too, on that side of the ball. Now one final throw here is incomplete, and that is how this one will come to an end. A higher scoring game, Charles, than we typically see in the National Football League, but fun to watch these offenses. They were really clicking. It seemed like everything that they dialed up worked. Yeah, it certainly was fun to watch from our perspective. How'd you like to be those defensive coaches, though? That wasn't a blast for them at all. And let's face it, they all game plan, they all scout, they all think they're prepared. But executing and stopping teams, that's another matter entirely. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say good night, everybody, from Indianapolis.